So you want to delete all the prior events on your Google Calendar and you've Googled it and everybody says it can't be done. Well, they're not entirely correct. Let me show you how. Come on, let's get started. So my name is Sine and I recently encountered the same situation. I've got, uh, as it turns out, over 5,000 events on my Google Calendar because it's been running since 2007. I'm trying to share my calendar with a colleague and his uh, software won't even load it. It times out because it doesn't have time to pull in all the events. So what I'd like to do is get the maybe the last couple of months worth of events and any future events that I have off my calendar and create a brand new one or or get rid of all of the old ones. So let me show you what I have found that I can do. First of all, uh, you go into settings and sharings on your calendar um, and you're going to export that. And this is just to A, protect you and B, make sure that you have something uh, that you can work with uh, to, to do the edits. Now this will take a couple of moments, see how it's spinning up here. Uh, and then when it's done, it'll offer you an opportunity to download it to your computer. And we're just going to do that. So I'm going to pause the video while it packages everything up. Oh, look, it's done. I'm going to have it overwrite this one uh, since this was uh, what I had just done a moment, a moment ago on testing. All right, it's downloaded to my computer. Now, remember that... Um, well, let's 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 go here. So I'm I'm going over to this is my work calendar. In fact, let me prove it. Let me open it again. This is it. So I know that the first about 64 lines, as it turns out, right to this first begin v event. So all of this is um, required for the calendar. So I'm going to start a new file and I'm going to drop that in. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go look for any events that are uh, in the future. Okay, so I know that an event does this DT start. You with me? Uh, so I'm looking for this DT start and instead of 2007, I'm actually looking for 2018 and beyond. So here's one that's in, in December. Uh, which is the month that I'm in. So I'm, I want anything from here forward. Are you with me? Uh, because this is current. Uh, in fact, I want to go a little bit further back. Remember I said I wanted to do about two months. So I'm going to look for the first event that is in October, which was last month or the month before. I'm sorry. So I'm going to grab from this event down. Are you with me? Because this is the future or, or the two months that I want plus the future events. So I'm just going to pull this all the way down to the bottom. It does take a second, just one moment. And, and again, I'm working it out on the fly. You're going to get to see all the mistakes. This is an unscripted video. So I'm going to copy this into here. And one of the things I want to make sure is that somewhere within here, is that doctor's appointment and that labs appointment that I have. So labs for, there it is. Uh, and let's see, that's for, all right, that was last month. And last month, last month. Okay, so what I don't have is the one in the future. So I need to go look for labs for, I think this is it, yeah. Okay, so this is the event that I want. So I'm going to go grab this one from the beginning V event to the end V event. And I'm going to pull that into here. This is the one, remember, that has the two months worth of work and that event. The other event I'm looking for is uh, the labs. I'm sorry, the actual appointment for her. And I believe I made them at the same time. So we should see them fairly close to one another. So I'm going to look around 112, 112,000 for Dr. Reinfelder. And it'd be helpful if I could spell it. Okay, so 112, oh, there it is, perfect. So this is the event. So I want the begin V event to the end V event. So I'm pulling this over as well. Okay, so are you with me so far? So what I have is the beginning 64 lines, the ending uh, events that I want to keep, 
and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to grab this last bit because these are paired up and I need this V calendar to end it. Okay, because I, I have a begin V calendar at the top. So now this represents what I want to import. So I'm going to go delete everything from my original ICS and I'm going to copy all of this into there. So now I have 1,942 lines that represent the last two months worth of entries and the two future events that I've determined I want to keep. So I'm going to save this file and now I'm going to go into my calendar and I'm going to just just to test it first I'm going to create a testing import calendar I'm gonna create it give it just a moment I'm gonna to go to this calendar and I'm going to import uh, the things that I'm looking for so I'm going to import and export to the testing import calendar and let's go get that file I just finished editing right here there's the calendar I'm gonna open that up and say import so all 92 events are imported and we can see that by going out to the calendar and let's go uh, back a little bit in time you know this worked last time there okay so I had to refresh it sorry so now we're seeing in red the testing and in blue my existing and what I'm looking for there's the future events and if I go out a couple of weeks I should see there are those future events now I, I do have some others uh, which is uh, giving me an opportunity to show you for example uh, I didn't grab this one now I did grab that one interesting uh, so there's a quick way to add it I'm gonna go right here and say more actions copy to testing import and then if you save it'll be there and my reason for doing this is twofold it's belts and suspenders I'm a cautious person so I'm gonna go forward in my calendar for a while to ensure that I've captured every possible um, see there there's one I missed so I'm gonna go put this one on testing import and save it and gonna keep going so when I have all of them see I need to get these on a on their own calendar save this but when I'm sure I have all of them then I can go export testing import I think this is it September October and I figure a year in advance you know if I if I, it's not on my calendar for the next year I probably don't need it so there we go 2020 so I feel like I have all of them that I want on testing import so I'm gonna do one additional thing I'm going to export this calendar one last time because it has now all of the events that I want I'm going to export this one that's gonna create me a brand new calendar or I'm sorry a brand new set of entries that contains only what I'm looking for then I'll delete testing import and my work calendar um, and then bring that new set of entries back in and I should have now a complete calendar uh, that is just exactly what I want so I'm gonna get rid of this oh it does say I cal and I'm gonna rename this um, testing import so I know which of these two it is so I now have a zip file that is um, my testing import which I'm going to expand I'm, I'm gonna rename this one too uh, just just so I don't lose the edits that I already have I'm going to export this file at, or I'm sorry not export extract this file into this folder so I now have a second version are you with me so I, I rename this one hold I now have a second one uh, right here sorry uh, this is the uh, uh, testing export so this represents all of the entries that I want to bring into my calendar so I'm ready if you are let's let's go get crazy let's go get rid of this so this is the calendar I want to delete all of the events for so 
I can't actually remove the calendar because it's my default, right? So if I click delete, it's going to delete all of the events from my calendar. Only the events. Remember, it's my default calendar, and I did rename it. Yours will probably be your first and last name. So give it just a moment to finish deleting. I'm in a new incognito window, and when I come into the new incognito window, the blue entries, they are all gone. Let's go to today. Oh, see, maybe it was just uh, it just needed a little bit of extra time. So while I was working to find out why, it did eventually all, all disappear. So here's where we're at so far, just to recap. We've exported the entries we want out to an ICS file. We edited that file to remove the bulk of the transactions or the events that we did not want. We created a new calendar, uh, and then we imported those in, and then we kind of married and matched it up to make sure that we had all future events. So now that my entire calendar is free and clear, I can export this one. Well, I, I did that already. So export this one, and now we can use that new one to import into the primary. So I'm going to go back into settings. I'm going to go back into import. I'm going to choose the calendar I want it to import into as my default calendar. And I'm going to go get this, um, my, my edited version, uh, of, or rather the export that I did a moment ago. I'm going to go get that and import it. So after just a moment, I should now have, and I'm, I'm going, I may have to go into um, the incognito window again. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go new incognito. Let's go back to Google Calendar. There you go. And there we go. So now we have them duplicate, or you know, you can see all of them. So there's the primary work calendar and there's the testing import. So if I turn this off, I just have the one event. So this was a temporary calendar, which I can now delete. It's not a primary, so when I delete it, the whole thing will go away. Uh, so I believe I've gotten now what I'm looking for. Um, we take these off and we can see uh, should only be if I if I scroll back it should only be two months stop somewhere in like at the beginning of September I believe there we go uh, okay so the end of September so as you can see there are no further events back so I've gotten rid of all the old ones now this orange this is another calendar this is my uh, teamwork calendar so that's not relevant and if we go forward a little bit we should see the labs and the doctor's appointments. So I now have my work calendar cleaned up. It's down to just the last couple of months where the entries and the future entries, and I can get rid of this calendar altogether. So that's my video. I hope it's helped you. Um, thanks for joining me on this. Uh, let me know if you have any other issues. Uh, I'm happy to make a video to help you resolve those. So this is Sine signing out. Till next time. Happy blogging!